For Kate, Claudia, Rachel, and Michaela, faith in Christ is not just one avenue to becoming great athletes, but for them, sports is just one way to make their faith in Christ great. That mindset began at FCA Leadership Camp at Moody Bible Institute this past summer in Chicago. And the girls remember that back then, they wondered what did they get themselves into. It's definitely been very interesting, and it's also been very tiring, but it's very much worth it. It's been a lot of fun to experience this, and I'm really glad I got the opportunity, too. Tell me what you take away from this as you go back to school. Well, like before, when you're in FCA, I think at least for me, it was like, okay, I'm an athlete, I play sports, and I'm also a Christian back at home, so it ties in nicely. But here you really learn how to bring the both, both of them together, and I think that's very important and it's something that I've been struggling with and this camp has definitely helped me with it. God is good all the time. God is good. Nice job. It's been incredible. It's been an overwhelming feeling that it's kind of hard to explain. Something I would have never thought that you could incorporate God in sports so much. So it's just a whole new perspective on things. I've got so much to take back to my school and teach people. It's incredible. And it's good for any athlete. We've gained so much athletic advice and safety and speed and acceleration. And also growing as a Christian has been amazing for me. So many people who have the same values as you do. I didn't know really what to expect. Like when you like got on the bus, it was just kind of like, well, where are we going? But when we got here, we were like really loved by everyone, and like they just really took us like in. And like our huddle leader has done a really good job with us. But I don't know. I've just kind of felt like my relationship with God has gotten better because like I've not only learned to like worship Him outside, like. I've never really worshipped him like during sports, so like it's not about the scoreboard anymore. It's about like what I'm going to do for him on the court. It's not for me. It's not really for the team. In the long run, it's for him. The girls say they are locked into the principles and disciplines they picked up at FCA Leadership Camp this summer. They say it has made their faith stronger and helped them deal with things from being daughters, walking the hallways at school, circumstances, relationships, and of course, sports itself. It's kind of brought us all together as a team, I feel like, because we're all um, warriors of Christ. So, it's, I mean, it's just a different experience. It's a different way to think of sports. And wrapping my mind around that at first was kind of difficult, but once I've done it, it's just made sports a whole different ballgame for me. I think if I definitely would have went alone, I would have been a little more scared that it would wear off. But having like three of my close friends with me to experience it, and we can keep each other up on it and just be like, hey, remember when we did this? Remember when we won this? And then having those close friends there to remind you of everything that we worked on is really helpful. I am a, like a completely different person than I was a year ago like even in sports like yeah I was upset that we lost but at the same time like I was I thanked God for blessing me with this body that he gave me to go out there and have a good time and play volleyball it's totally a different feeling like especially coming off our volleyball season like towards the end of our season like our team really came together in Christ and like for every game we'd write a little cross on our wrist just to like get our head where it should be and I think like all together that let us play in a different way and that's something that like going into basketball season now we're like okay we want to continue that feeling like that was something like totally undescribable basically and that's something that I want to continue personally and I'm sure the other girls do too. We hope you can participate in one of more than 350 FCA camps all over the country. Are you ready to start FCA at your college, high school, or middle school? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.